Just outside London town, nestled on a quiet hill in the countryside, lived the Darling family. A very warm and loving family. A very happy family. There were father and mother Darling, and their three children, Wendy, Michael, and John. Oh, yes. And there was Nana, a St. Bernard dog. Unlike most children, for Michael and John, the best part of the day was bedtime. Wendy, tell us another story. Tell us another bedtime story about Peter Pan and the pirates. The pirates. I like that part the best. Come on, John. I'll duel you with these wooden swords we made this afternoon. I'm going. Oh, I'm going to give you my no, 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 John, no, 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 no. Michael, you stop that. You'll have father in on us now. Come on, John. See, Mother, I told you. The boys get carried away with those wild stories of Wendy's. Neverland, Captain Hook, Peter Pan, indeed. Boys, now, you stop that fighting. Wendy, I think it's time that you are moved into your own bedroom and out of the nursery. You're growing up, and it does no good you're sharing the same room as John and Michael. Mother, tonight will be Wendy's last night in this room. Oh, but, Father, we love Wendy's stories. Don't send her away. Please, Father. We'll be quiet, and we won't duel anymore. Nonsense, nonsense. Off to bed now. Remember, Wendy, tonight is your last night in this room. Good night, dears. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Good night, children. Good night. Good night, Mother. Good night, Father. Wendy. Yes, Michael? Wendy, if this is to be your last night, please tell us again about Neverland and Peter Pan. Oh, please, Wendy. Well, if you both get into bed and get snug under the covers, I'll tell you. What's that? Listen. Wendy, look by the open window. It's Peter. It's Peter Pan and the fairy Tinkerbell. Why, Peter, what brings you here? The last time I came to hear your bedtime stories, that Nana caught sight of me and nipped off my shadow. I've come back to find my shadow and, and maybe hear you tell another story. First, let's find your shadow. There it is, over there. See against the moonlight near the fireplace wall? Here, Peter. Let me sew your shadow back on. Thank you, Wendy. Wendy? Why, why are the boys looking so sad? Well, you see, Peter... Father thinks Wendy has grown up. He won't let her tell us any more stories. Tonight is her last night in the nursery. He can't do that. He just... Wait! Oh, yes, of course! That's it! What is it, Peter? What, what Peter? is it? What, what? I know! I'll take you away with me, Wendy. I'll take you to Neverland, where you can tell your wonderful stories to my lost boys. Oh, Peter, that's a wonderful idea. I would love... Oh, but I couldn't go. No, not without John and Michael. Well, then, I'll take John and Michael, too. Oh, 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 yeah. But, Peter, just how... Well, how would we get to Neverland? Oh, yes, Peter. Do we take a train? I was on a train once, and I love the sound of the whistle. And I've been on a boat, so if we're going by boat... Boat? Train? <laughs> no, oh my. There is only one way to get to Neverland. But we well, fly. Fly? Well, we, we can't. I mean, we don't know how. Anyone can fly. That is, anyone can if they want to, really and truly want to. But how? Simple. You must close your eyes, think only happy thoughts, dream only happy dreams, and with a sprinkling of Tinkerbell's pixie dust, and a dash of trust, and an extra measure of faith, and up and away! See? It's easy. Shall we all try it once before we leave? First, I close my eyes. I think only happy thoughts. I dream only happy dreams. A dash of trust, and an extra measure of faith. Oh my! It's true! Look! Look! We I'm flying! Oh, Wendy, look, it's so easy. I'm flying too! Whee! Are we ready? To the window! And off to a wonderful new life in Neverland! How tiny everything looks below! Look, there's Big Ben! Over there! Why, that's London Bridge! As Peter Pan and his young flying companions head toward Neverland, there is trouble lurking there. Yes, the evil mad pirate Captain Hook is storming the deck of his ship, plotting to make revenge against Peter Pan. For it was Peter Pan who once, long ago, in a fair but desperate battle, cut off one of the captain's hands. The captain had long since replaced the hand with a menacing steel hook, but this wasn't the worst of it. 
Peter had fed the hand to a crocodile, and the beast had enjoyed the tasty morsels so much that he now followed Captain Hook's ship wherever it sailed, hoping to nibble a rest of Hook and finish his meal. Fortunately for Captain Hook, the crocodile had also swallowed a clock, and so he went tick-tock, tick-tock when he approached. For Captain Hook, it was indeed a grave warning he always listened for. Ahoy, Captain Hook, look up. Coming our way, it's... Why, yes, it's Peter Pan. What? Peter Pan? Where? Give me my spyglass. Shiver me timbers. Pipe all hands. Man the cannons. Let's shoot the pan down. Come on, step lively. Right, step lively. Right, right, you bang all right Come down on. those cannons. Go. Come on now. Peter. Peter Neverland is just as lovely, just as beautiful as I dreamed it would be. The lagoons, the lakes, the forest. Oh, it truly is a magnificent world. Peter, that ship below us. They're shooting at us. It's Captain Hook. Look out. Whew, that was close. Quick, Tinkerbell, take Wendy and the boys to the island. I'll draw Hook's fire and then join up with you later. But, Peter, we don't want to leave you. Hook is after me. Well, he's not going to get me, and he's not going to disturb the peace of Neverland. Now, you go on with Tinkerbell. She'll take you to the Lost Boys. Don't fly so far ahead, Tinker. Wait for Wendy. Get up. Get up, sleepyhead. I flew on ahead to warn all you Lost Boys. Things won't be the same around here anymore. I think Peter doesn't love me as he did. What do you mean, Tink? Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah. You'll find out. You see, they're headed this way, and things just won't be the same anymore. She's coming. Who is she? Quick, a Wendy bird is coming. You must shoot her down. Does Peter want us to shoot down this Wendy, this, this Wendy bird? Yes. It's a terrible Wendy bird. Let's go. Get your sticks and stones. There, boys. That one must be the Wendy bird flying down toward us. Yeah, hit her, hit her. her. Oh, my. I'm going to fall. I can't fly. I can't think happy thoughts or dream happy dreams with those boys throwing stones at me. I'm falling. Ray, we oh, got her. We God, got that terrible bird. Wendy bird. Look, here comes Peter. Peter, Peter, we shot her down. What have you done? Oh, it's a good thing I came by and caught Wendy in time. She's not a terrible bird. Oh, we're sorry, Peter. Well, you should be. I brought Wendy here to be our mother, to take care of us all, to tell us stories. Oh, Wendy, are you all right? I... I think so. We're sorry, Wendy. We didn't mean to hurt you. Not our mother. Boys, take Michael and John here to hunt Indians while I show Wendy the mermaids in the lagoon. Boys, how do you hunt for Indians in Never Never Land? Simple. First, we creep up on their camp quietly, ever so quietly. And then we spread out and surround them, and then... What's that? The trees are moving! The Indians! They, they crept up on us! Right out. And surrounded us! John, Michael, we can't put up a fight, and I think they want us to follow them back to their camp. Don't worry. See the chief? He's really quite friendly. Well, he doesn't look very friendly. Someone kidnapped my daughter, Princess Tiger Lily. Maybe you or your friends take Princess. Oh, no, Chief. We don't have your daughter. We just arrived here from London and we... You speak strange talk. Maybe speak with crooked tongue. We take you back to Indian camp. Maybe make your tongue talk straight. Maybe you tell us where Tiger Lily... Peter, this is the loveliest place in all of Neverland. It's so peaceful, and the mermaids are all so lovely and friendly. Look, Wendy, in that rowboat. 
It's Captain Hook and his henchman, Smee. But who is that beautiful Indian girl with them? And Peter, why do they have her all bound and gagged? Smee, me loyal matey will make the princess talk. She's going to tell us where Peter Pan lives. Or we'll leave her tied to Slippery Skull Rock out here in the middle of the lagoon. <laughs> oh, that's good, Captain. And when the tide comes in, it'll wash over her and Tiger Lily will be a water lily. <laughs> Quick, me, Row faster. That crock is following me. Row! Row, you barnacle belly bounder, row! I must save the princess, Wendy. The tide's coming in fast. Wait here. Hook! Captain Hook! You villainous pirate, release that girl! If you want to save her, you're going to have to fight me. And this time, Peter Pan, take that! Hand that! I'll run you through! <laughs> You'll not win this day! Me? No use. I can't beat him fairly. We'll have to get away. Into the boat, quickly! Phew, that was a close one, Princess. Are you all right now? Come, Wendy and I will see you safely back to camp. Peter, you have saved daughter. So I will set all your friends free. Make big feast, smoke big peace pipe. All the women will fetch Carry wood, make fire, cook food. This is no fun, carrying all this firewood, doing all this work. John, Michael, I've had enough of this place. I've had enough of Neverland and I'm ready to go home right now. And I'm going to tell Peter just as soon as we return from this Indian celebration. Smee, Peter Pan hasn't heard the last of Captain Hook. It was a stroke of genius, capturing Tinkerbell. Tinker is jealous of Wendy, and if she tells us where Peter's hiding place is, we'll help her get rid of Wendy. <laughs> Brilliant, Captain. And at the same time, we get rid of Pan. <laughs> right? Now, go fetch that fairy in here so we can get the information. Ah, Miss Bell. I've heard how badly Peter Pan has been treating you. Now that he has that Wendy girl with him. Now, Miss Bell, my crew and I will soon be leaving the lagoon. And we could certainly use this Wendy girl to help cook for the crew and help keep my ship clean. Now, big girl, if you could tell us where we could locate her, we could, uh, we'll entice her away from Peter and we would have Wendy. While you, <laughs> you would have Peter all to yourself again. Won't you help us, Tinker? Tell us where Pan lives so we can kidnap... <laughs> I mean, take that Wendy girl with us. If I tell you, you must promise that you won't harm Peter. Promise? Of course, of course, I promise, I promise. <laughs> Here, I'll show you on this map of Neverland. Here, Peter lives near the hanging tree. Ha <laughs> ha! Get her, Smee! Grab that fairy! Lock her up! And now, for Peter Pan! I'm sorry, boys, but I'm homesick and we must return. But if you and Peter return with me, I can continue to be your mother and tell you wonderful stories. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go with we'll... you. Sure. Peter, won't you come? You can go if that's what you want. I'll stay here in Neverland. I'm sorry, Peter. I must go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Peter, and oh, thank you. Thank you for bringing me here. Go, if you want to. I don't care if the Lost Boys go with you. Shh! It's me. They're coming out of the tunnel. We'll tie them up one by one as they come out. Ha! Foiled again!
again. Pan didn't come out with the rest. Let's get back to the ship. Now, you friends of Peter Pan, now you have a choice. <laughs> it's really no choice at all. But here it is. Either you join forces with me and become a part of my pirate crew, sail with me as we hunt for treasures and plunder our way across the seas, or... Or me fine young friends of Peter Pan. You can walk the plank and meet your fate with the likes of Davy Jones. Oh, gee, do you gee, think we I should? Don't I don't know. Well, I don't know. A pirate's life isn't too bad. Think of the adventure. It's it's like one of Wendy's stories. Hey, it might be fun. Well, well, which will it be? Sail with me or to the bottom with you? Well, well we're thinking about it and... Maybe we will. Never, never, do you hear? How can you boys even think of joining up with this terrible man? I'm not afraid of Captain Hook. I'm ready to walk the plank. Anything. But I'll not stand by and watch these boys betray Peter and join with you. Then so be it. Tie your hands, mates. Feet of the crocodiles. Wendy is so brave. Look, she's about to step off. <laughs> Peter, it's you. We're saved. Captain Hook, this time you've gone too far. I'm going to drive you out of Neverland. Come on, boys, after him. <laughs> Look out, Captain, look out! Hook, I've got you now, and it's over the side with you! Help! Help, it's the croc! Help! Run, run, run. We're taking over the ship! Quick, up with the mizzen mast! Heave those halyards! Up with the jib! We're sailing for London! Run. Run. Now, everybody, think happy thoughts, Dream happy dreams and a dash of trust with an extra measure of faith. Here we Here go, we go. <laughs> up to the, to the sky. sky. Michael, John, we're on our way home. Look, look, there's Big Ben. And Wendy, there's London Bridge. And look, I can see Donna down below. We're at the house. Boys, you're welcome to come in. I'll continue as your mother. And I have oh so many more stories to tell. Well, we've, we've sort of changed our minds. We've decided we'll stick with Pan and return to Neverland. Well, then, goodbye, boys. Goodbye, Wendy. Goodbye, John. Goodbye, Michael. Goodbye to you, Peter Pan. Goodbye, boys. And goodbye, Wendy. From their window, John, Michael, and Wendy watched as the pirate ship sailed through the misty clouds high above London Town. They watched and waved as distance and time turned the ship into a tiny speck like a tiny star in the heaven. Wendy, John, and Michael would grow up. But in their hearts, as in all who are young at heart, they would always remember and cherish Peter Pan.